Hi guys, today's project is a fun one. We're going to be creating this really cool button clasp bracelet. There is no hardware involved with this except for a metal shank button. I'm going to show you how to take advantage of that here in just a second. But this is a really cool bracelet that has a lot of different knots in it. There's some square knots, some half hitch knots, and some overhanded knots here, as well as some really cool beads I'm using leather cord and some hemp for this, which I love using both of those when the weather warms up. Um, I don't know, there's just something very summertime feeling about using leather and hemp and some other lightweight stringing materials. So I think this is very appropriate for the warm weather, weather that we have been having. Um, this is a pretty easy project to do. However, it does help if you have some basic knowledge of knots. Um, like I said, there's a square knot and a half hitch knot. And of course, anybody can do the overhanded knot. I'm going to do my best to show you those knots as slow as I can on camera. But if you have trouble following along, definitely Google both of the knots, half hitch and square, to get a better understanding of how those knots work. Now, this is the bracelet itself. And like I said, it doesn't have a clasp except for this button here at the end. I'm using a metal shank button. You can see it is not a two hole or a four hole button. It's got that shank on the back. That's really, really important. And then there's two places for this to fit at the end. And of course, we'll show you that when, when we get to that point. But we want to start out with our leather cording. Now you can use any kind of leather cord that you want. I'm using Greek leather cord and this is a, um, uh, I, I don't have the millimeters for this, but I will put it in the description box for you so that you can know the exact millimeters of this. This is a round um, leather, so I'm not using a flat leather for this. This is about 26 inches. That may be a little much, but that's pretty, pretty close to what you're going to need. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to thread on your button and this leather cord fits perfectly right through the shank of that button. You want to put your button right in the center of your metal cord. Okay. Now you want to tie an overhanded knot just to secure your button into place. And you want to leave yourself a little bit of a loop here so that your button does have a little bit of movement. You don't want that knot to be completely right up against that shank. But again, this is really, really easy. I'm just going to take this and loop it over to make a really simple overhanded knot. And I'm going to pull that down close to the button, like I said, but not right up against it. Okay, I'm just going to pull that tight. And the leather that I'm working with is a little on the stiff side. Um, so if you're using the Greek leather, you may have to give it an extra tug. Okay, there are some softer cords out there. Mine is a little stiff. All right, so this is what we have so far. Super easy to go part of your clasp is already attached to your bracelet and now we're ready to move on we're going to start doing some knotting with our hemp cord but we need to attach this to something i'm going to use my tying station to attach this let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see a little bit more of the tool if you don't have a tying station that's totally fine you can use a clipboard or any other way that you want to secure your bracelet to your work surface now it's important that you are able to do that because you want this to be nice and tight as you are working now i don't have enough room up here to put this on the peg which you can't see. There we go. The peg here. I don't have enough room to put this on the peg on the actual tying station station. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this next to the peg and I'm going to flip it around here. I want it so that my knot is just right here at the edge so that I can work on that. And then I'm going to use this squishy side. There's a foam attachment for your tying station if this is what you're using. And I'm just going to put that on the very, very top and I'm going to squeeze that down as tight as I can because again, this is not attached, but I want it to be secure. So I'm going to twist this down and try to get it as secure as I possibly can on this end, even though it's not really attached. So I'm going to I'm going to screw that wing nut down pretty tight just so there's not any movement because I don't want this to go anywhere. Still could take a little bit more. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to take the other end and come down here and secure it to the other end. Now this end definitely doesn't need to move, but there's no loop here. So we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to put both ends between these two acrylic plates 
and then secure this down. If you don't have a tying station and you're interested in getting one of these, I will have a link for this in the description box. I love the tying station. I use it for all kinds of things. Um, so if you don't have one, definitely check that out. All right, so sorry about my squeaky chair, if you can hear that. All right, so I'm gonna zoom back in so that you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so here's the top of the tying station and my bracelet is ready to go. That knot is just literally right there at the edge of that foam and that's exactly what I want. I'm gonna come in with my hemp. I have cut about a 30 inch section of hemp. You don't have to use hemp for this. You can use leather, I mean, not leather, I'm sorry, cotton cording or waxed cord for this. It's whatever you've got, okay? So I wanna find the middle of that cord and bring that behind both pieces of the leather here and now I just want to tie a knot to get this attached to the leather. Now I'm actually tying a square knot here but you don't have to. Any kind of knot will work and I'm not really going to walk through that a whole whole lot. Okay so if you're going to tie a square knot like I said you're going to take you you're going to use both ends of your cord you're going to take the one on the right hand side and you're going to make a P shape over both pieces of your leather. Okay, just like so. This is going across the top of both pieces of leather. And then you're going to take this side, your left handed piece of leather, and you're going to go underneath both pieces of leather and up through the P shape that you made on the right hand side. Okay, and then you just want to pull. Okay, so that's the first step of your square knot, okay? You just wanna repeat that exact same steps just in the on the opposite side to create the full knot. So let's do that. On the left-handed side, I'm taking the cord, I'm creating a P shape, okay? The P, the stick to the P is this leather, and then this half moon shape, that's the bubble for my P, that's on the left-hand side. I'm gonna take my right-handed piece of hemp I'm going behind both pieces of leather and up through the bubble part of the P that we made on the left-handed side, and then I'm going to pull. Okay, and so now you have created your full square knot. Again, that happens in two steps. You're going to do it on the right and then on the left. So two knots is actually what creates the full square knot. Okay, so we want to create... Um, let's see, we're probably going to do two more of these before we start adding some beads. So let's walk through that pretty slow. Okay, we're going to make a P shape on one side. This is on the right. You're just alternating sides. With the left hand piece, we're going behind the leather and up through the P, the loop part of the P. So there's that. Okay, and now we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side, creating that P shape and using the right hand side under and through and pulling that tight. Okay, now you can count how many of these by the little humps here. You can see right there. That's how you're gonna count a full knot if you're counting as you're going. Now again, I already had one started, so I've got three. If you are following along and you just did an overhanded knot, you've only got two, okay? So we're gonna do one more and then we're gonna start adding some beads to this. Okay, so I've made my little P coming up through with my left-handed cord, okay, and pull tight, and now we're going to do the exact same thing to finish off that knot. We're making the P on the other side, going under and up through, and pulling that tight, okay? So now we have a nice little row here of our square knots. This is a really cute way to secure both ends. This is going to, of course, attach your hemp cord nice and secure to your leather, but it also adds some visual interest as well. Okay, so now we're going to add some beads to either side of this hemp cord that we have. On one side, I'm going to add <coughs> one of these tube beads that I have. Now, this is actually the same length as two smaller beads that I'm going to use on the other side. Now for this you can use any kind of beads that you want to, but if you are interested in this exact set of beads, I will have those in the description box for you. They are from Jesse James Beads and they are awesome. Absolutely love them. All right, so to secure this bead onto our cord and this bead is going to lay next to 
our leather. We're going to do a half hitch knot. So basically it's a square knot without the other side. Okay. So we're going to create a P and then we're going to take the end of our cord and come up. We're going behind the two pieces of leather and up through the P. So we're just using the same piece of cord to do the same movement that we were making with the other piece. I hope that made sense. That was a little confusing. <laughs> All right, so that's the first step for that knot, okay? So we made that P, the P with the, um, the cord going over the top. Now we're gonna make the P with the cord going behind, okay? And now we're gonna go through the top. We're going down through that P instead of up through the P, and then we're just gonna pull that tight. Now what you've created essentially it's called a half hitch knot, but if you'll notice, this is actually a lark's head knot that you've just done with one piece of string, okay? So now we're gonna add some cord to the other side. I'm sorry, some beads, rather. I'm gonna add two smaller beads, and actually I need to trim this just a little bit. Excuse my arm to grab this, to trim this off. My end was getting a little ragged there. And I'm gonna thread on two. These are four millimeter beads. These are together are gonna to be the same size, you can see, whoops, as that tube bead on the other side. All right, so we're gonna do the exact same thing. These beads are gonna lay nicely on the side of the leather cord. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna create that half hitch knot, so our cording is going over the top of our two pieces of leather, and then it's going behind and up through. Okay, just like so. And I'm gonna pull that, and I'm gonna pull that knot, pull that cord right up against the last knot that we made. And now I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but the P is gonna go behind. Okay, and now the end of our cord is gonna go down through. Just like so. And then when you pull these guys tight, Make sure that your knots are nice and tight. Now you've got a set of beads that you can't see. Sorry about that. You've got a set of beads on either side. You've got two little four millimeter beads on one side and then you've got this guy over here on the other side. Now we're gonna repeat that, but this time we're gonna put the four millimeter beads on this side and the two bead on the other side. Okay, so now we have these little mirrored sections of our beads and they are all secured with our half hitch knots. Now I'm gonna add a bead. This is a larger bead. I'm actually going to add this to one of the leather pieces. I'm going to add this to my right hand side of leather cord. So to do that, I'm going to un I'm going to release the leather here that's on the bottom and I'm going to string that bead onto one of those pieces of leather and then I'm going to secure my leather back down on the end here just so that it doesn't move on us. Okay? All right, so like I said, I've got this one bead here, whoops, that you can't see, there we go. I have one bead, so we've got the leather cord coming across the side, that's the second piece of leather, so we've essentially separated our pieces of leather. We're gonna secure those back together in just a second. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a square knot to attach all of this together, so we're gonna use both strands again. We're going to take the right hand strand of hemp, we're making that P shape, we're going behind and coming up through. Oh wait, I'm sorry. That's not what we're gonna do because <laughs> we're not doing a half hitch. All right, we're making the P shape. And then we're gonna take the left-handed piece and it's gonna go behind the two pieces of leather and up through the P shape that we made, okay? So now when I pull this tight, this is gonna bring all of our cord back together again, okay? And now to do the second step of that, we're gonna create this P shape with the left side, with the right hand side, we're going behind and up through. All right, so I'm gonna repeat the square knots. We're gonna make two more square knots and then we're gonna add another bead. Now, we're gonna add another large bead. We're gonna add this one to the left-handed piece of leather, okay? So to do that again, I'm gonna take my leather undone here at the bottom, 
thread this on and then thread this guy on just like so I'm gonna attach my leather back down here at the bottom okay now we're ready to secure this bead and we're gonna do the exact same thing that we did with the bead above it we're gonna do a square knot around that bead so now we have secured another large bead to our pieces of leather and that was the first we're going to do two more square knots all right so that is the center of our bracelet where we are going to actually mirror this exact same steps here that we did at the top before we got to these larger beads. We're gonna do that again down here at the bottom. We're going to attach two sets of beads, but we're gonna do the half hitch knots instead of the square. And I'm using different beads this time. So I'm gonna move this down so you can see. This time we're adding the beads to the hemp cord itself. So I'm going to add a tube bead that is just a little bit different shape. This is a wooden bead. It actually has some flat sides, so it's really not a real tube. But we're going to add this guy to the right hand of our cord. I may have to trim that end. It is getting a little frayed. So I have added my bead. And like I was saying, this is going to lay next to the leather cord, not on the leather cord. So to do that, we're going to make our half hitch knots. You'll remember just like we did at the beginning we're going to take the right hand cord that has the bead on it making the p taking the end going behind and up through okay pulling that tight and then we're going to do the exact same thing but this time the p is going behind the leather and we're going down through the p and pulling that tight to secure our bead okay so now I'm going to add two beads on the other side. I'm using two rondelles. And now we're just going to repeat that. We're going to mirror this. I'm going to put two beads on this side, on the opposite side, and a two bead on the other side. Okay. With three more square knots, we're using both ends of our cord to make three square knots here. And then I'm going to show you how to finish off the end of our bracelet. Okay, so I have added my three square knots here at the end of the bracelet. Now I'm ready to take the bracelet off of the tying station. If you are using a clipboard or whatever, you wanna go ahead and take your bracelet off so that we can work on the ends. Okay, so I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Now we are ready to finish off the end of our bracelet. So we still have a good length of leather here. We have these little short pieces of our hemp. Now on this bracelet, I actually added some dangles. Because my hemp pieces were a little long, I had enough hemp to add two more beads to the ends and tie those off. With this one, I don't really have enough. I actually could, but one end of my hemp has gotten really frayed. So I think we're gonna skip that step on this one. But again, if you wanted to, you definitely could add some beads to the end of your pieces of hemp. But we're gonna tie those in to a knot here in just a second. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take, oh, there we go, we're gonna take this long section of our cord and we're going to tie we're going to begin to tie an overhanded knot now i'm going to go ahead and loop everything through before you close up that knot take your pieces of hemp and pull them into your leather knot okay on one side you may have to go up and through here you just want to be sure that you capture your pieces of hemp inside your knot okay so now I'm gonna hold these ends of the hemp up and out of the way as I pull my leather tight okay so at this point in my mine are in a kind of a funny place but my dangles so if I added beads to the end of my hemp cord my dangles would be all on one side. You can adjust your hemp as you are pulling that leather knot tight. If you wanted them to be like this one, one on either side, this one, the placement of the hemp would have one or both of them on the same side. Okay, so your dangles would be on both, if that makes sense. So 
now since like I said there's not enough room for me to add dangles to this one so I'm just going to kind of cut this short and just leave it and let it be a frayed part of my bracelet it just adds some character to it you can't even see what I'm talking about I'm so sorry okay so I've just cut this short now I know it's sticking out and it's all crazy looking it's like why would you leave that that's gonna look awful but the more you wear this and of course if you get this wet hemp has a great way of becoming very very soft the more you wear it the more that it it blends with the oils of your skin and so this actually will turn into a really pretty little dangle off to the side it's not just gonna be this crazy thing that's just sticking out into space you're just gonna have to take my word for it if you've never used hemp before all right so we have that all cut off and that's ready to go we have our knot here at the end now we want to create a loop in our leather that's going to accommodate our button okay so to do that we're going to create another overhanded knot but we want this to be down on our leather just a little bit so that we have this section here between the two knots where our button will slide through and that's what's going to create the clasp for our bracelet okay so you just want to be sure that before you secure that knot that you've got a nice a big enough section to accommodate your button Okay, so I'm going to pull mine tight. And now you can see my button has a nice place to slide through and secure my bracelet on. Okay, and now I have my leather ends here. I'm going to trim my leather ends. I like to leave them a little long. I just kind of like the way that that looks. So my bracelet is finished. Now, there is an additional way that you can do this as well okay if you wanted to use a longer piece of leather now this is a seven and a half inch bracelet okay if you use all the measurements that i gave you this is going to give you a seven and a half inch bracelet which is a pretty standard size for bracelets if you are going to sell your bracelet and you want to give an extra size option then make your leather piece from the very beginning i said it was a 26 piece of 26 inch piece of leather make that about a uh, 32 inch piece of leather and you will have enough leather to create a second loop and what that does is it just adds a additional space for your button so your button can go here or it can go here so if you're selling it's it's going to give you the opportunity to have a larger bracelet for a customer that may have a larger wrist and so that just gives you two size options that's going to give you more of a about an eight inch to an eight and a half inch bracelet okay just so you know there's there's a lot of different options here i like the single loop when i'm making it for myself because i know what that measurement for my wrist is going to be every time but for a customer i definitely like to give it the option of two different sizes here okay so that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's project. It's a really cool kind of summertime funky fun bracelet with a really neat mix of beads. Um, I hope that I was clear on the knots. If I wasn't, again, I, I, I can even leave some Google links of some great step-by-step -step pictures of the square knot and the half hitch knot if I was a little on the confusing side. So again, hope you have enjoyed today's project and I will see you again next time. Bye guys.